Hi guys, it's Christopher with Food Traveler and the IE. Today we are out in Lakewood, California. This is a very special day. I'm out here with my son. We're going to go and check out this all-you-can-eat seafood restaurant. If you look right behind me, it's called Alburi Ace Sushi. Neither one of us has been here before, but we're going to go inside, have some fun. We're going to eat a bunch of sushi. We're going to enjoy ourselves, just relax, and just take it easy. So we're going to show you guys a bunch of sushi. I'm going to give you recommendations on what to do when you guys go to a sushi restaurant so that way you get more value for your money. So let's go on inside. We'll take a look and let's have some fun. Hi guys. Well, I wasn't able to do any videos, unfortunately, as far as the inside because they just said I could take pictures. That was about it. So I tried to show you a little bit of the inside just to see what it looked like. This one was just fried, no real flavor. Thumbs down on this one. Okay guys, so we just ordered a bunch of stuff for our first round. So uh, first thing we started with was the fried oysters. Uh, I just put a picture on there so you guys were able to check that out. The next one we ordered is the tokoyaki. Tokoyaka, tokoyaka, toko, toko? I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, you probably really can't see it too well. It's got some mayonnaise sauce on there. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. Uh, I suck at these. Like totally, like a kidney gardener could probably do better with these than I can. You know, probably an animal can use it better using their toes. I'm gonna give it a try without trying to drop it. So this is the takoyaki. Takoyaki. Is it seafoody? What did it taste like? Uh, yeah, it tastes mostly like fish and then it like some octopus or squid inside. Mm. Mm. That's actually pretty good. It has a distinctive flavor in it. I think it does have some squid or something in it because I can taste the chewiness. Um, I like it. I like it. You guys can see that. Yeah, that one I would get again. The fried oysters that we had. It's just all fried. I didn't really taste a whole lot of anything. I mean, I had a hint of smell of seafood, but that one I would not order. Again. But this one, I would definitely order. Now we have the shrimp jalapeno. Wow, talk about delicious. I ordered like nine of these. So good. Shrimp jalapeno. Now these are pretty big. They're not the little baby shrimp. I would say if you went to the grocery store, this, this would be like the large, not jumbo, but large. So let's give this a try. They have some green sauce that it comes with. I'll show you guys that. I don't know if it's like a, a mint chutney or whatever. So we're just going to dip that in there and give that a try. That's a big piece of shrimp. That's really good. I like that. Taste some more of this. For me, I don't know. It kind of tastes like it has some guacamole on it. Yeah. Put your finger on it and taste it. Yeah, just taste it. It tastes like it has a hint of guacamole. That's good. I like that. Right? Disappointed in this one, rubbery and chewy. Squid. Crispy squid. I've never really had this, and I can remember. Or is this the calamari? It's crispy squid. Let's give that a try. Not 
anything really like flavor. Just chewy fry. It's not bad. Comes with the sauce. Oh, orange sauce. Most of the sauces that they make at these sushi restaurants are, are based mayonnaise. Thank you. That sauce makes all the difference in the world. Having that sauce with that, way better. Honest opinion, guys. Juicy and nice on the inside, but overcooked on the outside. The next one's karage fried chicken. Oh, this is burning hot. Another fried item. So basically what we did for the first round is we wanted to not get a whole bunch of rolls and fill it with rice. The trick is to find some of their premium items on the menu, attack those first. The squid, the shrimp, some of the other things, the fried chicken, just go for the, that stuff that doesn't gonna fill you up. Then after that, find out the ones you like and go from there. Then you can start attacking the rolls, if you want the soups and the salads. That way, you're gonna get the most for your money, the better value. This was $29.99 for lunch, which actually isn't very expensive because there's a place in Riverside, they charge almost $40 per person. All you can eat sushi. So this is a pretty good value, you know, as far as the money. But it depends on how you eat it. Fill up on a bunch of rolls first, you're, you're not gonna get your money's worth. Get a bunch of this stuff first, try them all out, see what you like. And guys, guys, please, if you're gonna do an all-you-can-eat sushi, bring at least one other person with you. If you bring more than one, maybe two, three people, even four people. It's way better because then every person can only get one or two pieces of a roll and you guys can order at least 20 rolls and you're going to be able to taste everything on the menu. So that's the kicker right there. So I'm going to try this fried chicken. It looks really, really hot. Oh, okay. It's soft, it's juicy. That's why you get more than one person, so you can try everything. And of course, we have to finish everything or else they'll charge you. Even if you leave a piece of rice like that, they're, they're going to charge you everything. The next one we have. Wow, I really enjoyed this one. This was one of my favorites. So delicious. Was the, what was this? The lobster roll. Lobster roll. Lobs, lobster roll. Order five of those, and you've already got your money's worth. I'm gonna try again, guys. If I was a lobster or a crab in the ocean, and I had to use my legs to get my food, I probably wouldn't last that long. Like, somebody would wind up eating me, and I would starve to death. So let's give this a try. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Let's give it a try. It's probably gonna fall. I like it. It's chewy. You still don't taste really the flavor of the lobster because of all the mayo and you know the sauce they put on here. A little chewy. Now I can taste the crawfish. That's the crawfish. I can taste that. Could you imagine the poor guy's job that has to peel all those little crawfish just to get the little tail? I would not want her. Okay, guys, so we just finished round one. So we are going to the next journey on round two. So we ordered quite a bit. Uh, a couple rolls, uh, a couple different things, quite a bit of stuff uh, that we did order in the first round. So now we're trying a little bit more of the rolls, some different stuff. So hopefully uh, this round is better than the first. The first round was okay. Um, it had a few things that I really liked, uh, but I really wanted to dig into something that I really, really, really enjoy. So the second round, uh, hopefully I find the ones that I just fall in love with. So 
Let's see what they have. Guys, so we're here at round two. If you guys could see all the food on the table, you would be amazed. Uh, but I took pictures of all the stuff that's come one by one, so I'm now going to try the salmon. The to be honest, the salmon was dry. Didn't really care for it. Salmon and rice. So, once again, I suck at chopsticks. So, here's the salmon and rice. Not too much rice, so I'm really happy about that. To be honest with you guys, that salmon's a little dry. It's not the freshest. This one I really liked as well. Very, very nice. Good flavor. Try the jalapeno. Fried jalapeno. Is that try? It's pretty good. I don't taste jalapeno though. At all. It actually tastes like tuna or chicken. Hmm. I have to admit, guys, with the exception on the two on the left, this was so delicious. Try this one. So I'm just going to do this one by hand. This has, looks like salmon and avocado on there. Inside it has the crab, the imitation crab, and a little bit of soy sauce. Give that a try. Nice flavored difference from all the other stuff. This is refreshing. Uh, like that's why. I like that. And so far, we've had a lot of saucy stuff and fried stuff. I'll try these. These are these are refreshing. I can I'll, I can never remember what the names of these are. Look at this. The other one was salmon. Is this tuna? I don't know, it's some kind of fish. Or tuna, like yellow tail. Food traveler approved. Very nice. Okay guys, so I had really high hopes on this one, but it was dry. Let's try the beef. Teriyaki flavor of the meat, a little bit of sesame, a little chewy, a little chewy. Once again, I think it's overcooked. I wanted to try to add the peppers just to see if it would change the flavor of the meat. This is the golden tiger. So let's see. So let's check this out. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna actually mix it with this with the green sauce too. That is pretty good. moving the table every time I lean on it. What does that tell you? Stop eating! Oh, so good, baked scallop. Love, love, love this one. I know I'm going to like these guys because I always like baked scallop. Like, me and scallop are like as one. Like, we were born together. Like, it's so good. I've never not ordered baked scallop and not like it. Like I said guys, the only thing is, if a lot of these have that same sauce on it, that yellow and brown sauce, 
and it can get kind of tiring. So that's why you gotta you gotta just mix up your rolls. Don't get all the ones that are fried or get all the ones that all the sauce on it. Mix them up so you have a flavor difference. That way you can go beast mode on everything. So let's try the base scout. Alright guys, round two is over. We ordered a whole lot of stuff for round two, honestly. Uh, my son tapped out after the second round. I finished up that. Pretty much I'm, I'm tapping out for the most part. I did order a couple more jalapeno shrimps. Uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'm not totally stuffed. Could I eat probably a couple more rolls? Yeah, but then I would be done for the day. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. Hit the bell notification so every time I put out a new video, you guys can see that. Uh, don't for forget to subscribe. Uh, so then that way you guys don't miss any of the videos. Uh, once again, I just want to thank you guys very much for watching. And hopefully... You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, and God bless. Bye. Finished up inside. Um, really good meal. I think we're here for about two and a half hours. Uh, honestly, I think we went through about 15 orders, so we split each one, and man, I'm stuffed. Uh, but I know I'll be hungry in the next couple hours. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're ever in the city of Lakewood, come by, check them out. Uh, they were really nice, very hospitable, and, uh, you know, next time I'm in town, I'll probably come back. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, stay tuned, watch the next video, like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Take care.